first of all, a triumph of the human spirit in a place called Gallipoli.
I lost my rifle, but soon managed to scramble out of the hole and reach the beach safely. I quickly obtained a rifle from a dead Australian and joined up with the rest of the signalers from the other barges who'd gone ahead. Building. By 10 o'clock, Bennett Shipping's troops were under heavy Australian fire. His right flank was commanded by Captain Hallis of Mushak, a seasoned professional soldier. You could see in his face that he did not believe the situation was in our favor. I tried to understand why his face turned more and more pale, and the confident look in his eyes faded away. But in a short while, the reason became apparent. The khaki cloth of his left arm slowly turned red, and blood drops accumulated at his fingertips. Lieutenant Ahmed Muji. Soon Alice was forced to seek treatment for his wound. Before he left, he ordered his troops to stay and defend the line for the last man. The battle for the heights had begun. Everybody felt himself on the enemy to kill and to die. This wasn't a regular battle. Everybody was hungry for either success or death. I added a verbal order to my subordinate, stating, I don't order you to fight. I order you to die. Lieutenant Colonel will staff and command. Total to dead, 5,000 casualties. About three men per yard of ground gained. An order came out naming this bay Anzac Bay after the New Zealand Australian Division. It does not matter what it is called. Perhaps it will someday be known as Bloody Beach Bay. God knows we have paid heavily for it. Personal family. Whether 